at Cornerstone. This is our weekly pastoral update. We're going to keep going with them. Um, you know, many of the sites now are going with live meetings, and at those live meetings, uh, there's live preaching. So this is still my opportunity to speak to us as a church. And I do believe there are certain things we need to highlight uh, and encourage ourselves around in God's Word, and there are definitely uh, some aspects of what's coming up, some dates and that, that we need to kind of share. So I want to read from Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. This is the go-to passage of Scripture uh, to encourage us, you know, when things are falling around, uh, are falling apart around us. And, you know, often when that happens, we do go through these like valley experiences, we'd call them, uh, where we get depressed, we get down, uh, and I think being normal human beings, these things do affect us. And of course, the longer this COVID time has gone, uh, more and more people's, um, you know, kind of emotional state has been affected. Just heard this past week about a church that we work with very closely, uh, that two weeks ago, one of their deacons took his life. And then this past week, uh, one of their elders um, also uh, did a similar thing, took his life, uh, leaving behind families and that. And so we know the emotional strain of the situation is great. But let's read this passage of Scripture, and I want to read from 2 Corinthians 10, and we'll see just how important it is that we allow our relationship with Christ to give us a sense of strength and a sense of purpose and a sense of identity and a sense of joy, even though there are bad circumstances. So verse 17, Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, Though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, in other words, absolute disaster, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. So these circumstances can come and these circumstances can go, but I'm going to find my strength in God. I will be joyful in God my Savior, the sovereign Lord. He is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. So with God and my relationship with Him, this is what salvation is all about, Cornerstone. I, I'm able to kind of reach these heights that He wants me to, to kind of live in. Uh, like this deer, He's able to climb to the heights of a mountain. And with God, the joy and the strength of my relationship, I, I don't have to be affected by these. I don't, my mood doesn't have to go down. Even though the temptation is there for these things to grab hold of me, I don't have to allow them to kind of bring me down. Like this deer, I can tread on the heights. I can kind of, and, and this is not a kind of feel-good rah-rah session. These circumstances are real. But we need examples of those who are not affected by these circumstances. This gives me an opportunity to speak to people about the gospel. They ask me, well, you know, why aren't you down like the rest of us? Why? It's because Christ is my Savior. And there's a joy in Him uh, that is not circumstantial. Happiness is circumstantial. Happiness goes up, goes down. Joy is constant because my relationship is constant. So I want to encourage you in times like this, let's not run to, you know, something like, you have another glass of wine and things will be better, um, you know, or just be caught up in this depressive cycle, <clears throat> which is downward spiraling. <clears throat> no, we run to the high tower. We run to Jesus Christ. He's my strength. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 4 to 6 says this, The weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And so that's the key. We take every thought captive. Those thoughts are going to be there. The, the enemy and even our fallen human natures, these thoughts are going to come. Uh, it's bad. It's hopeless. There's no hope. Uh, you're going to have to do something about it. And we get desperate. No, we take those captive. These are mind tricks. And we celebrate our relationship with Jesus Christ. We bring everything into obedience with Christ. Because the most important thing is He anchors our lives 
and He is the foundation to our lives. And so everything around us can crumble, but because of my relationship with Christ, I have strength and ability to push through in all circumstances. So I encourage us with that. I'm going to pray for us at the end of this, and I want to encourage you, if you're going through any kind of difficulty like this, and it seems like there is no way out, it seems impossible, it seems like, you know, overwhelming, please get hold of us. Uh, we'd love to pray with you, visit you, encourage you. It is important that we link ourselves in to the safety and the celebration of community where these values are important to us. So I want to and just change track a little bit and go through a few admin points quickly. Children's ministry, guys, you did exceptionally well on the weekend. Uh, and um, we continue to kind of thank God for the way in which you serve, uh, in the way in which you do. That Saturday night time of praise in our cars was awesome. It was just so Christ-focused. It was good. It really was good. So thank you. And then encouragement to all the men, 19th of September, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., Fight Club. Uh, we're going to meet in probably about 10 different venues across Joburg. Uh, uh, online registration is open at the moment. Uh, the speaker that we're featuring is Chris Matabula, um, incredible gift of God um, with a really big ministry into this country. And he has a voice uh, with some of the um, you know, people in authority in this country. And I want to encourage you, um, he definitely is going to have something to say to us. So with live registration, there'll be an opportunity for you to give as well. Many of our folk, because of the uh, diversity of the communities we reach, cannot afford the 65 bucks, which will include, you know, kind of coffee and muffins and, and uh, you know, a, a lunch and the rest of it. And we want to also give Chris Matabula a gift. But there'll be an opportunity for you to give. So you can kind of pay for somebody else or a few people. And then if you can't afford this, please don't let that be an issue. Get hold of your elder, your pastor, and he'll help you with that. And then lastly, an encouragement um, in the seasons we're in to continue to be obedient, generous, and integrous with our finances. Uh, let's allow God's rule to kind of rule our finances. This is probably the one area that causes us to get into depression and all kinds of difficulty, the enemy um, kind of can get hold of our thinking. Um, but I want you, like with every area of our lives, is to place our finances under His control. So let's pray together. Let's trust God. Father, we want to pray for that church where those men have taken their lives, for their families, Lord, that you would help them, that you would guide them, that you would lead them. You would be their strength. And then I pray over us as a local church that for, for each and every one of us, there would be an understanding that even though the circumstances of this world um, kind of fail, our relationship with you is there. And we have a strength and a joy in you that would enable us to push through all circumstances. I pray for those especially who have lost jobs, who, who are in a place of difficulty, perhaps whose um, kind of hearts are feeling like down and depressed and it, it just seems impossible. Would you help them, Lord, uh, by the power of your Spirit, let them understand the great and wonderful privilege we have with you uh, as our Lord and Savior. And that through that, there'd be a joy that would strengthen us. And then especially those who, Lord, do feel trapped and alone, that somehow they'd reach out, you'd help them, so that we can kind of come alongside them and help them get to a place of strength. Thank you for the wonderful, generous heart there has been in this local church. Hundreds of thousands are around released so that we can help those going through tough times. You're an awesome God. We continue to pray for revival in Johannesburg, Lord. Pour out your spirit. We trust you to see many, many more people born again. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, guys. Have a great week.